apnofeds one of the main cause of concern not only for appearance but also for overall health having an abdominal circumference above normal is one of the criteria for what we call metabolic syndrome and also obesity both conditions are serious and can even be fatal that's why you need to know how to truly lose this abdominal fat and lead a healthier life Welcome back to the channel, my name is Jefferson, a doctor, weight training practitioner and a scholar of physical exercise and how they can help you prevent disease. Today, we're diving into a topic that's on everyone's mind. How to lose that stubborn abdominal fat. If you've been struggling to shed those extra inches around your waist, you're not alone. But don't worry, we're here to break down the science behind the most effective and fastest way to burn belly fat. So let's get started. But before that, if you want more content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Before we jump into the strategies, it's crucial to understand what abdominal fat is and why it's so stubborn. There are two main types of fat in your abdomen subcutaneous fat and visceral fat subcutaneous fat this is the fat that lies just under your skin it's what you can pinch and feel with your hands it's what we call love handles and it causes discomfort by making the body look less aesthetic visceral fat this is the deeper fat that surrounds your organs it's more dangerous because it's metabolically active and linked to several health issues including insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Visceral fat is more responsive to diet and exercise, making it easier to lose, while subcutaneous fat tends to be more resistant. This means that losing abdominal fat requires a comprehensive approach. No matter how many crutches you do, if your diet isn't on point, that belly fat isn't going anywhere. Here's what science says about the best dietary strategies. The most important factor in fat loss is creating a caloric deficit, where you burn more calories than you consume. After all, the excess calories you consume are stored in the abdominal region as an energy reserve. However, it's not just about cutting calories indiscriminately. You need to focus on nutrient-dense food that provide your body with the vitamins, minerals and energy it needs to function optimally. Studies have shown that diets high in sugars and refined carbs contribute significantly to belly fat. These foods spike your insulin levels, leading to increased fat storage. Replacing them with raw grains, fruits, and vegetables can help reduce visceral fat. Protein is the most satiant macronutrient and can help reduce cravings and boost your metabolism. A high protein intake has been associated with less abdominal fat. And for lean sources of protein like chicken, fish, tofu, and legumes. Not all fats are created equal. Incorporating health fats like those foods in avocados, nuts, and olive oil can help reduce belly fat. These fats help you feel full longer and stabilize your blood sugar levels. Many people mistakenly believe that skipping meals will make them lose weight, but that's not how it works. Our body needs to eat at least 4 to 6 times a day because a lack of food slows down our metabolism, which in turn reduces calories expenditure and leads to fat storage. Of course, there are strategies like intermittent fasting, but this should be done with professional individualized guidance. Diet alone isn't enough to get rid of belly fat. Exercise plays a crucial role in burning calories, building muscle and improving overall health. But not all exercises are created equal when it comes to losing abdominal fat. High Intensity Interval Training HIIT HIIT is one of the most effective workouts for burning fat, including visceral fat. It involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by brief rest periods. Studies have shown that heat can significantly reduce belly fat in a short amount of time. Resistance Training 
Weight training helps build the muscle mass, which increases your resistance metabolic rate, meaning you burn more calories even when you're not working out. Compound exercises like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses are particularly effective. Cardiovascular exercise. While not as effective as heat for targeting belly fat, moderate intensity cardio like jogging, cycling, or swimming can still help. It's a great way to burn extra calories and improve your cardiovascular and lung health, improve your respiratory capacity and consequently allow you to perform weight training and heat workouts with greater intensity. You might be surprised to learn that sleep and stress management are crucial components of losing abdominal fat. Poor sleep, quality and duration are linked to weight gain, including an increase in visceral fat. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night. Sleep deprivation can lead to hormonal imbalances, such as increased levels of cortisol, which promotes fat storage, especially in the abdominal area. Chronic stress leads to elevated levels of cortisol, which is associated with an increase in abdominal fat. Practices like physical activity can help manage stress and reduce cortisol levels. A common misconception is that you can target fat loss in specific areas through the exercises like crutches. However, spot reduction is a myth. When you lose fat, it comes off from all over your body. That said, strengthening your core through targeting the exercise can improve muscle tone and give your midsection a more defined appearance once the fat is lost. Additionally, knowing how to manage stress and your sleep, as mentioned in yearly, is essential for lowering cortisol levels, as it's precisely cortisol that causes you to accumulate fat in the abdominal region. While supplements can support your fat loss efforts, they are not magic pills. Here are a few that have been shown to help you with the abdominal fat. Green tea extract Rich in antioxidants and can increase fat burning, especially during exercise. Caffeine Bust metabolism and can enhance the effects of your workouts. Probiotics can improve good health with is linked to lower levels of abdominal fat. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any supplement regime. Losing abdominal fat isn't about quick fixes or magic solutions. It requires a holistic approach that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, proper sleep and stress management. By following these science-based strategies, you will not only lose that stubborn belly fat but also improve your overall health and well-being. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you don't miss out on our future content. And as always, if you have any questions or topics you want us to cover, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching!